lasting than that of the man cub called Mowgli and his lifelong enemy Shere Khan. Our story begins back when the wolf pack served as guardians over the creatures of the jungle. Order and balance had been established by adhering to the law of the jungle. It was a plentiful time where the hunt was many, and the creatures of the jungle showed respect towards each other. But it wasn't before long until our paradise drew some unwanted attention, and veiled creatures began to reveal themselves. <laughs> Who's there? Akila, it's me, Tabaki. Tabaki? How are you? You look taller. <laughs> what have you been doing? It's good to see you too. It has been long, hasn't it? I knew you were worried of me that I would have trouble finding my way in the jungle when I left you, and for a while I thought I had made the wrong choice. I didn't realize how invasive man has become with his traps and fire. But thankfully, someone took pity on me and showed me how cowardly man truly is. The second you howl or growl, man runs away full of fire, uh, full of fear. It's like man is a game, Akila. And one time. Shere Khan and I scared a pack of man so bad, they ran to save themselves and left their cattle behind. Shere Khan, Tabaki, please don't tell me that you've made alliances with Shere Khan. You must run from him, he'll turn on you. But you will. No, you're wrong. Shere Khan has promised me his protection. His promises are empty words. Tabaki, as the mother who raised you as her own, trust me. It's true. You have been good to me, but Shere Khan has been good too, and I have no reason to think that he would hurt me or anyone else, unless you got in his way, which is why I'm here. You and your pack need to stay out of Shere Khan's way and not interfere, and I, 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 would, I would think of this more as a command than a warrant. After all, you are the one who claims to know well not to tangle with Shere Khan. I am disappointed. If Shere Khan believes that he can return and expect us to give up our hunt and on our land at his when he must be mad, Tabaki, go tell your master that we will not be dictated by a cattle chaser. Here we live our lives according to the jungle. And so must he. Perhaps you can tell him yourself. <laughs> This child may have a good purpose. I can't believe this, Bagheera. 
certainly your instincts tell you that this thing is food. It serves no other purpose than to be eaten. It is insignificant, a morsel, an appetizer. That's what your instincts tell you, Shere Khan. I am not a short-sighted. <laughs> Would you feel satisfied if your belly was rumbling while the council made up its mind about what you 
could and could not eat? Do you want to follow a leader that is so easily swayed by a medicine panther and his flunky? You say the path is strong, but I say it is weak. This decision has greater consequences than you even realize. If you would like to live away from the ire of the council, the oppressive laws of the jungle, you will be welcome onto my lands. Wait! No, please! Don't! This is truly a hollow victory. I hope we make the right decision tonight. The loss of our brothers will weaken the pack and leave us vulnerable to attacks on Shere Khan. We gotta make sure we are very protective of Mowgli while watching our own hides at the same time. I will protect you and your family as long as Mowgli is a part of this world. Let's practice some 
wrestling moves. <laughs> oh, Mowgli, come on! You got to do better than that. Show Baloo what you got. Come on. Come on, Mowgli. Let's see what you got.
Some kind of reward? Did you bring back a kill? You're free to go. Finally, Mowgli has been exiled from the pack. This is my opportunity, but I must be clever, not hasty. Tabaki! Tabaki! Did you call Shere Yes, I hope I didn't wake you from your glorious slumber. Are you well rested? Yes, thank you. Uh, how can I be of service? I've just received news that Mowgli has been spotted wandering alone in the jungle. This is my time for revenge. I have a task for you. Do you want me to bring him to you? Do you care how it's done? Tabaki, don't be so foolish. Killing Mowgli would accomplish nothing. Why would we settle for a small victory when we have the opportunity to win the war? Don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me spell it out. If we kill Mowgli, the pack will surely retaliate and bring with them the gear and balloon. <coughs> In order to successfully crush the pack, we must have allies. So I have task for you. I need you to enlist the monkeys and have you bribe them to catch Mowgli and bring him to me. The monkeys are fickle creatures, but when pro properly persuaded, can be a powerful force. But what could I possibly offer the monkeys that will make them help me? I guess you'll just have to use that pea-sized brain of yours to come up with something. Don't return until you have the boy and don't fail me. Yes, Sir Khan.
go. <laughs> Into. You're right, Blue. We may have to rely on some help outside of our normal circles. 